Hey guys, Jarek and Mookie, you're going to be doing some more Halo. This time we switched over to the Master Chief Collection and Halo 4 came up in Big Believe Team Battle. That's a surprise. Or not. People and actually voted people, Halo 4. I think they only voted it because it was Slayer and like they didn't want to play anything else. Yeah, this is the only Slayer thing here. All the other ones were objectives, so that'd be why. So I originally meant to choose the assault rifle because I love the Halo 4 assault rifle. I know I'm going to be getting comments that are like, wow, you noob using the automatic. I don't care. They have the, play, the loadout system for a reason. They have to balance in all weapons to be able to use them from start. If it works, let someone use it. In my opinion, it's harder to use the assault rifle than it is to use the battle rifle. So, <laughs> go ahead and use your headshot weapon and call someone else a noob. That makes sense. I'm just going to sit around and four shot all day. Yeah. <laughs> this is um, going to be that guy. So, I was looking at what I had selected because I hadn't chose any of my loadouts or set anything up. Uh, I wanted to choose the assault rifle and didn't get enough time. I'm going to force spawn me, which is frustrating. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, but I do switch to the assault rifle. So. <laughs> Everyone rushing toward the Mantis, as you pointed out. <laughs> That's how it always works in Halo 4. It's pretty funny. That guy was in the Mantis for like the entire yeah, game. Yeah, he did not die. He, he, he went, went like, like 22 and zero, 0 or something like that. Some some crazy bullcrap. Freaking Mantis. Like, balance, please. <laughs> okay, so after playing Halo 5, there were things that I had forgotten about Halo 4. One, fuck Sprint. <laughs> All I have to say about that, Sprint is very frustrating and annoying. I'm yes. glad that it takes a really, really long time before your shields start coming back, like, far longer than Halo 5. That threw me off, actually. I didn't... Like, I don't remember that. I really don't. I don't either, which is weird, right? Like, so, I went back and I noticed I was still one-shot when I tried to start running out, and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I, I didn't run out when my shields are down, but, I mean, look how long it's taken for my shields to come back. It's a very, very long time. After playing, after playing Halo 5, I had just gotten used to faster recharge but i think that's just because halo 5 in general is faster like a lot faster yes uh but yes sprint sprint is bullshit so many situations where you drop someone they have no shields and then they run away forever and uh i, I actually like what they've done with sprint with halo 5 where the game is faster so i'm okay with sprint being there because it makes the whole game quicker and play faster and that's what they're going for typically i'm not someone that really cares about the game being fast honestly uh, but it, it just kind of works with Halo 5. I'd prefer it if it was slower, but I'm not going to complain if it's fast because it just works. And the fact that your shields don't come back when you're sprinting. That is a huge change, and I can definitely see why they went for that design change. Yeah, it's sprinting in general for Halo 4 is just frustrating. This game does not feel like a Halo 4 game, or like a Halo game. And it's funny because Halo 4 looks more like Halo than Halo 5 does, but it doesn't feel like Halo. Also, I love these grenades. You shall not pass. <laughs> Dude, the four rotor grenades are so amazing. They're so like, useless because you're not going to kill anyone with them, but I love blocking pathways with them. That's the, all they're friggin' good for. Like, n nobody's going to friggin' walk into a giant, like, nova of death and be like, oh, yeah, I'll totally let myself die from this grenade that will bring me one shot. But anyway. Halo 4 in general feels so much easier than Halo 5. And every other Halo game. Like, this is just an easy game. It's got so much out of way. That's one thing I really noticed when I went back and played this. This feels like Halo 2 levels of auto aim, but worse. <laughs> I just found it to be super easy. Typically, if you get the drop on someone and you get first shot, there's very little way they're going to win. And this is an example of how long it takes for your shields to come back. Someone's like there, and I'm just waiting going, come on, shields, please. But I want shields, so, you know. Sniping is freaking easy as hell in this game, too. Oh, God, yeah. Like, it's satisfying to be able to get headshots, but at the same time, not really, because after the second or third one, you're like, wait a second. I, this oh gosh, that mantis. Easy. So many situations this game where I ran out, looked at the mantis, and went, nope, nope, running away. <laughs> uh, there was one time I tried to clamber on the mantis, and it, it gave me the prompt, and then nothing happened, so it was kind of frustrating. I feel like uh, I should have went anti-vehicle this game, because I do have an anti-vehicle class. The way I set up my classes is I usually have, like, Anti-infantry, which is like BR, pistol, frags, and then I have anti-vehicle, which is like... For big team battle, I typically go do something like that and have the plasma pistol instead of just the magnum. Yeah, yeah, and plasma grenades, too, are amazing against vehicles. Yeah. Like, holy shit, especially if you have the explosives perk. Which I never really ran with, but I have it now. Oh, that's another reason sniping is so much easier. No descoping. No descoping. Like, here, uh, I got a headshot because he shot me and I flinched. Yep. Uh, so, I mean, I can understand why people are mad at descoping not being a thing in Halo 4. You know, 
I get why everyone is saying the things they do, and I'm not going to argue that Flinch is gone. But I was honestly okay with Flinch because I hate getting de-scoped. Uh, I feel like I can get into situations where I'll get the drop on someone, and then they'll just consistently de-scope me. <laughs> and it's not like they're really doing much damage, they're just like pegging me once in the arm or something. Uh, which can be frustrating. I think um, from a from a balance standpoint, like descoping makes more sense because since a sniper rifle is like a one-hit kill, and all this, the other weapons. This, guy, this is why sprint is annoying. Running away for days. Sniped him, shot him a few times with the assault rifle. He's still running away, and I think his shields actually came back. I'm pretty sure he didn't kill me. He almost did. <laughs> but my goodness, I completely understand. This is a perfect example of why sprint is frustrating. Uh, another reason why Sprint is no, and I got killed by his teammate. See, that's bullshit. <laughs> and that yeah, should, just yeah. should not happen. So yeah, Sprint is, is very, very irritating. Another reason I dislike it is because of the terrible decision to add in the stupid bolt shot, which I will not stop ranting about that ever. Bolt shot. Why, why would they think it's a good idea to add in a one-shot weapon on spawn? Who the fuck knows? It's it's such a stupid idea. Like, like even it's after honestly the patch, so broken that it would should be an ordinance drop. Even after the patch, it was like the kind of thing where it was it wasn't a one shot kill, but you could immediately follow it up with a melee, and it would be just as effective. Pretty sure if you were right in their face after patch, it was still a one shot. I could be wrong. Like I don't know. Like, like I, I think they just weakened the damage that each pellet did. But if you were in their face and they'll hit you, you still died with one shot. Probably, like, I don't remember. It, it just annoyed me in general, uh, because it, as I've explained many times before, you know, Halo has always been that balance between guns, melee, and grenades. The bolt shot completely got rid of melee. You didn't want to approach a melee someone because it was too big of a risk. You didn't know they had a bolt shot. Yeah. It's, it, it's it was really weird. frustrating to drop someone's shields, turn the corner to melee them because they're camping in a corner, and then just catch a bolt shot to the face. Like, that's bullshit. That should never happen. Now, if they ran out and picked up a shotgun, that's a different situation. But no, they spawned with one, basically. So. Yeah, I, I really do not like the bolt shot. <laughs> that is the thing I hate more than anything else about Halo 4. Bolt shot's pretty trash. Like, I don't even equip it because I feel like it's too cheap. <laughs> I generally go with the Magnum. It kind of depends on what my loadout is. Um, if I was going with something like the DMR or the light rifle. So you know, I If I was say... going to the light rifle, I always use the perk to carry an extra primary weapon to use like an Asarf or something up close because your light rifle's not very good up close. But so, if I was running with like the DMR, then typically I ran at the bolt shot just because that's it worked, so I can't you know, you don't get mad at the player, get mad at the, the developer for thinking it's a good idea. So um this weapon or wow well, weapon, this this game has like really, really like janky weapon balance. Like everything's got so much auto aim, but one weapon I will say I like is the Magnum. I don't know what yeah, it is. I, I about like my... how they, they balance it in. It's it feels... you can use it as a primary, but you're not gonna win if you're trying to fight numerous people at once. Like for one on one it's great. And I don't know why I got that kill. You know, I think I got I traded with that guy like as soon as you got that kill. So I don't know, it was weird. Like I didn't was... I, I was so confused when it happened, I was like, wait, I didn't throw a grenade, how did he die? What happened? <laughs> like a phantom grenade? <laughs> we got a folder guys around here. Some so, crazy I don't, stuff. That, that genuinely confused me. The one thing I definitely did like is uh, this game, as I said before, was a lot more broken at first until they patched it, where the DMR and the bolt shot were god, you had no reason to use anything else. Uh, and then they patched it so that you can actually use other guns. The gun that I never see anyone using that is probably my favorite in the game is the carbine. Like, it's viable. Really viable. Like, it's awesome, actually. And no one used it. Like, in my opinion, it's. I think the time to kills are pretty much the same as the battle rifle. It. You know, I'm not sure why people don't like the carbine. I think it's the kind of thing where, like, the battle rifle is easier to get headshots with. You know, I think that's person to person. Everyone seems to have an easier time using the battle rifle, but I found the carbine to be a lot easier to use for me, really. It's strange. Like, like I for me, like... I don't know. My mindset is just so much easier. Like, with the carbine, there's no three-shot burst. If it hits, it hits, and you know where it hit him. With the battle rifle, you don't know if all three of those shots actually hit him in the head. So... It confuses me, and I don't know if I want to approach or not, because I don't exactly know how much health they have, and I don't know what's going on. With the carbine, maybe it's just because I use the Halo 1 pistol so much, but it just works. So, like, one thing I've noticed, especially with, like, the DMR relative to the battle rifle, is, like, if I'm in a game with people just whoring BRs, and I try to switch to the DMR, I'm noticing I get 
every assist possible. <laughs> like, you cannot finish people off with a DMR nearly as easily as you could with the Battle Rival. And the Carbine, I would imagine, is kind of the same thing, since, like, with the, with the BR, you have such a higher chance of getting a headshot if, like, you sweep your reticule across their head. As I can't say to... I've had the same experience. Typically with me, I get more, way more assists with the Battle Rifle, because it's like I won't get all shots on them. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll get, like, it feels like I'm getting way more hit markers with the battle rifle than I am kills. Like, to me, that's how it typically works. Yeah. Whereas with the DMR and the carbine, like, I like I said, I, if I'm hitting them, I'm hitting them, and I know it. Of course. I tried to rush this guy, and I forgot how to get up there. <laughs> I don't remember this map's layout too well. Like, I played the crap out of this map back in the day, but coming back to it, it's like, wait, that was there? What? It almost feels like a maze now. I got so bailed out. Uh, I, I tried to run away from that guy, and I just kind of happened to wander into the man cannon. I was like, oh, okay, I'm leaving. Okay, bye, I guess. And then I got you destroyed. Sure? So these caves, uh, the radar gets really confusing. You don't really know if they're actually above or below you, because it just suddenly switches. Like, they'll have the arrow for below them, and then suddenly, like, when they take one step, they're on the same floor as you. Mm -hmm. And at some point in this video, I get assassinated because of it. So it genuinely does get confusing. Also, I don't remember how, why the, um, Halo Force games last a lot longer than I realized, or remembered. I know it's big team battle, but I don't remember them lasting this long. It's weird, they use some weird, like, scoring system instead of kills, which I don't, I don't, it's still not, the only scoring system I have ever liked is Fear Combat. And that's yes. still, ba it's still kill-based anyway. I got destroyed by their entire team here, I don't know what I was doing. I thought they were above me. Uh, but yes, the... The scoring system of Fear Combat, I like the way they did it. You get five points per kill, negative one per death, negative three per suicide. I really like the way they did this, especially with suicides, because it means that if you get it, you know, you have a rocket launcher and you kill someone, you still get two points for killing them, but you don't get the full benefit of getting a kill. That which makes is better sense. than a neutral, you suicided, thus you get nothing. So. Freaking. I feel like Halo 4's scoring could have been a little bit better if they had just eliminated the zero at the end of everything. Because it was 10 kills, or, or, or like 10 points, or 50 points, or whatever. And I'm like... I feel like it should have just been kills. It's Team Slayer. Whoever first, uh, however many kills wins. Yeah. You know? It's less why, why confusing. Need to, why need to confuse it? Get it? it just, it works. You don't need yeah. to change something that's proven. I feel like that just describes Halo 4 in general. Why change it? You don't need to change something that's proven to work. Yeah. I don't know what they were thinking, but they were thinking it. <laughs> See, the thing is, I feel like Halo 4 kind of this follows... This Mantis, just I switched. tried to clamber onto this Mantis, and it gave me the prompt for a moment, and I was holding the button down, but nothing happened. I don't know why that, that happened. It's trash. It's kind of annoying. Rushing for the Mantis is such a huge risk. I feel like the, the yeah, Mantis... Like whatever I'm in the Mantis, it's... See, if I'm not in the Mantis and I'm rushing to get on the Mantis, it never works. But the moment I get into a Mantis, that always works for everyone else. <laughs> that's, I swear to God, that's how it feels. I've had some amazing moments where I get into the Mantis and survive forever, or I've just died instantly. I avoid the Mantis. Like, I'm not much of a vehicle guy. Like, when it Neither comes to Halo... I, but the Mantis is the exception for me. Mm -hmm. So, and this is where I got destroyed. I... Like, looking at the radar, okay, someone's above me. And I was just kind of watching my radar and seeing where they were. It says he's still above me. Someone else came out of nowhere and assassinated me here. Yeah, I said he was below and then suddenly there. So, Ooh, I wonder if he spawned there. No, like, it's it, you see the the arrow below on the radar, but it just kind of suddenly, since there's no like, I feel like the arrow should fade, so you can tell how close they are to you. Yes. Because it's not like levels aren't going to teleport you to the second floor. So, I don't know. Also, last kill of the game. I win. <laughs> Oh, that reloading animation, I want to rant about that. I like how they changed the reloading for Halo 5 to where if you completely run out of ammo with, say, the assault rifle, you, you cock the gun again. You yep. do something similar in, you know, previous Halo games where if you run out of the ammo with, say, the assault rifle, you know, you put in the new mag and then you push the bolt forward. First off, pushing it forward... Okay, the way he pushed it forward for that would actually work because it kind of locks back like an MP5. But why did the... That wouldn't push itself back. Like, the charging handle would not move the internal bolt will move, and that wouldn't move. If that moved, it would be smacking you in the face. <laughs> I don't know jack about guns, so I can't have a valid opinion. All well, basically, it would work like an MP5, where the charging handle's on the front, and it doesn't move when you're shooting it. So. Yes. 
So I don't know. That, that was a huge pet peeve of mine, but they don't do it in Halo 5 anymore. I, I can't say I'm a big fan of the way the... The way he realizes the gun just looks weird when he cocks it, like he pulls it with like his hand facing him, and it just looks weird. Like I would prefer it if he just grabbed it with, like his index finger, and that would look more natural. Spartans but, don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna complain too much. <laughs> anyway, it's been some Halo Four for the t- two of you out there that actually want to see Halo Four. <laughs> for the rest of you, I'm sorry, it's Halo Four. Please don't yell at me in the comments. <laughs> <laughs>